so hello everyone welcome you all to this channel so till now in this module we had discussed a lot of concepts related to the joint probability matrices in the previous video itself we have seen some of the problems right so now we are we are coming to the end of this uh, module where only few concepts are left whereas in this video we are going to be discussing with the concept of binary symmetric channel and in the upcoming video we will discuss with the concept of channel capacity okay so in this video we are mainly focusing on the concept of binary symmetric channel what do you mean by binary symmetric channel with respect to the joint probabilities we are going to be discussing one by one okay so let us see now let us consider a binary information channel with the two input symbols okay the two input symbols are given by x0 and x1 and two output symbols y0 and y1 along with their associated probabilities as mentioned here okay so this channel diagram is called as the binary information channel here it consists of only two symbols why because it is the name itself suggests that it has binary binary has only two symbols in general that is 0 and 1 right so that's why we have considered only two input and output symbols x0 x1 and y0 y1 with respect to that we have written the probabilities also that is p of y0 by x0 p of y1 by x1 this is p of y0 by x1 this is p of y1 by x0 like that four set of probabilities we have written now the output symbol probabilities are given by p of y0 p of y0 is defined as p of y0 by x0 into p of x0 plus p of y0 by x1 into p of x1 and p of y1 is defined as p of y1 by x1 into p of x1 plus p of y1 by x0 into p of x0 according to the jpm property they, we have defined the output symbol probabilities okay so now in matrix form these probability transition matrices given for a binary symmetric channel is generally given by matrix of p of y0 into p of y1 that is equal to here which in all terms are common x0 x1 is common so take that outside p of x0 into p of x1 that is the, that this would be one matrix and the another matrix would be a set of all the channel uh, channel elements with respect to channel matrix that is p of y0 x0 y1 x0 y0 x1 and y1 x0 okay so this this whatever matrix is there that is called as the channel matrix with respect to the probability elements input that is p of x0 and x1 for the output elements p of y0 and y1 okay so now the binary information channel is said to be symmetric in order to be satisfying the symmetric condition because the concept itself says we are discussing about binary symmetric channel so if we want to become the channel to be symmetric then p of y0 x1 should be equal to p of y1 x1 okay so these two that is the diagonal elements y0 x1 not and y1 x1 should be equal same goes with the opposite diagonal elements also if these two elements opposite diagonal elements if they are equal then only the, we should be saying that the binary symmet the binary channel information channel is symmetric in nature okay so these two p of y0 by x0 and p of y1 by x1 should be equal along with that p of y0 x1 and p of y1 by x0 should be equal okay then we could be generally uh, simplifying the, them and writing it as these two if they are equal you could be representing them as p and if these two are equal you could be representing them as 1 minus p okay so now again the channel diagram you rewrite it after the uh, symmetry condition is satisfied that is when x0 equal to 0 and x1 equal to 1 y0 equal to 0 and y1 equal to 1 we would be getting the values of the probabilities that is this is in the here it is p here it is 1 minus p here it is 1 minus p and here it is p okay like this the channel diagram for the binary symmetric channel is drawn now with respect to that rewrite the matrix here okay or whatever these values are there you substitute it here that is p 1 minus p 1 minus p p the bsc has two inputs as i've told you x0 equal to 0 and x1 is equal to 1 and two outputs y0 equal to 0 and y1 equal to 1 this is a symmetric channel as the probabilities of receiving a equal to 0 when a when 0 is sent is the same as the probability of receiving 1 if 1 is sent that is p itself which is common transition probability so these probabilities which are equal right so these pro these two probabilities are all, co all called as common transition probabilities okay the opposite probabilities this as well as this okay so this is the condition for binary symmetry which you need to be knowing if you consider some of the values also you could be simply uh, simplifying and writing it okay so these things are not required just the derivation part 
only thing is you need to be knowing the basic concept of binary symmetric channel okay so you understood it right so that's all for this video guys uh, the some problems related to binary symmetric channel i guess they won't be asking but if they ask i'm going to be doing a separate video on that as well okay so let me know if the problems are there with respect to this uh, binary symmetric channel so if you if you mention in the comments i'm going to be solving some problems based on bsc as well okay yeah so this this all of the concept of uh, binary symmetric channel so that's all guys in the next video we are going to be discussing with channel capacity okay we'll see you in the next video thank you